Hi! Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! Welcome to another episode of It Hurts. So what will gonna be our topic? Our topic for this episode is all about sound and audio information. Marnie, can you tell us more about it? Sound, as you may have learned in your science class, is an energy form that is propagated by vibrating objects. The energy travels through a medium such as air. Sound is in the same league as other forms of energy such as heat and light. According to the law of conservation of energy, it states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, and it can only be converted. Sound energy is converted from a vibrating object's kinetic energy. Imagine throwing a pebble into a pond and you see a ripple spreading over the water. That is the most classic illustration of energy conversion. When you study the nature of sound or audio in terms of generation, transmission, and reception, you are engaged to what is called acoustics. acoustics. In this module, you are concerned not only on the technical aspect of audio, but rather in its formative capacity. But before you do understand how audio is used for information relay, you have to be familiar with the basic principles about sound and sound waves. There are four fundamental attributes of sound, and these are the amplitude, frequency, waveform, and speed of propagation. Amplitude refers to how sound particles are displaced or scattered that produce a certain level or intensity of loudness. The unit of measurement for amplitude is decibels. On the other hand, frequency is measured by counting the number of vibration of sound particles in the path of a wave in a span of a second. We typically associate frequency with pitch which is measured in hertz. The actual shape of sound wave refers to its waveform. This is commonly associated to the timbre or quality of sound. Waveform is the characteristic that distinguishes one sound coming from a source with that of another sound from another source. Even if the two sounds have the same loudness and quality, we are still able to distinguish one from the other because of waveform. A sound speed of propagation, meanwhile, pertains to how quickly sound travels. This characteristic is dependent on the medium on which the sound is propagated, as well as on the medium's temperature. Sound has both technical and aesthetic roles in media production. It has depth and perspective, which is why it can be a mode of information exchange. Visual media and sound or audio media complement each other rather well. The aural sense appeals to a certain part of the human brain that the visual media may not be able to trigger. Audio performs the same exact role for visual information, as it greatly augments the informative capacity of the printed text. Various aural media enrich the visual experience in one way or another. According to Robert Breslin, 2008, sound, number one, encourage you to imagine the experience of visual in your minds, creating a unique experience for each listener. And number two, it allows you to hear what people are talking about and hearing their voices, which as opposed to reading their words, can give you information about the speaker's attitude, mood, geographical origin, and age. Sound is important when you relay any content or message because in real life you perceive both sound and image at the same time and thus having a more complete understanding of the message. Shhh. You cannot put the world on mute. Sound is everywhere. What you can do is to make the most productive use of sound to benefit yourself and other people. Most of the time, it is not what is said that matters. It is how it is said that evokes more meaning. In the case of audio media, the informative capacity of sound 
is in the way it evokes a certain feeling to the hearer or the listener. Thank you. Thank you. Recording format. Sound may be recorded through analog as in the case of audio tapes or digital in the form of digital audio tape or disc-based formats such as compact disc, recordable CDs, writable CDs, digital versatile disc, and mini disc. Using the digital audio recorders enables one to record straight to the computer according to Robert Burslin, 2008. Sound is vital in film and television production. Sound manifests as dialogue, music, and sound effects. Thus, it is not merely an additional element to the video component, but rather considered the fifth dimension of media aesthetics. Sattel puts it, sound is an indispensable element in television and film communication. Types of audio media Not all sounds are pleasing. There is one randomly generated type where its audible vibrations are found at another time. We call this noise. This is any sound that may be ambient or natural and may cause a distraction to the desired kind of sound. Number one type is radio. Transmission of audio signals through the air, for example, broadcasting. Number two, podcast. A radio broadcast or audio blog that can be downloaded or streamed to a personal computer. Can be listened from the computer or downloaded to a portable media player. Enabled a group of web formats called RSS that allow for automatic updating. Created by large media outlets and individuals alike, ranging in topic from major news events to esoteric special interest. Number 3. Music Recording Dominant format is MP3. Takes digital audio files such as those recorded on an audio CD. Number 4. Film and Television Audio is integral to the sound design of movies and television. Music videos revolutionize TV programming and film and editing styles. Number 5. Alternative Audio Forms include documentaries based on interviews, field recordings of actualities, or ambience and sound effects recorded in the field. Radio dramas, sonic or acoustic artists using sound as a medium of expression or sonic art, or sound that combine with dance, performance, or visual arts in a multimedia expression. Dimensions of Sound According to Settle, sound has dimensions. Number one for that is the film sound. It is the sound that has to match the aesthetic impact of an image. Thus, most films these days are aiming at using surround sound technology. Number two, the literal sound. It is the sound that may be referential, which means it conveys a specific literal meaning and describe the source of the sound. In film language, literal sound is also called diegetic sound. For instance, when you hear a sound of a baby crying, you will know that the sound is coming from a baby who is crying and even if the sound is mute, you will still associate the image of a baby crying with the sound that is produced when you see such scene. Number 3. The non-literal sound. It is the sound that may also be non-referential and may only evoke a visual image of the source of the sound. Non-literal sound is also called non-diegetic sound. Its purpose is more symbolic and it accompanies a particular image to intensify the intent of that image. For examples, the boyings, hisses, romantic music, and the rhythmic theme that can introduce the evening news. Importance of Sound Sound is an integral component of film and television content because of its capacity to make pictures more authentic. 
audio in film and television enhance the visuals of the story being narrated. Filmmakers and television producers aim at optimizing audio quality because they believe this enhances the audience's viewing experience. We have here function of sound according to Zettel, 1999. General function, information, sound or audio communicates specific information verbally. It is certainly easier to simply deliver the message in some form of speech. Form, dialogue, or a conversation between two or more persons. It is the chief means of conveying what the event is all about or theme, developing the story progression or plot, saying something specific about the people in the story or characterization, and describing where, when, and under what circumstances the event takes place or environment or context. Information is contained in a few lines of carefully crafted dialogue. Second form is direct address. This happens when the performer speaks directly from his or her screen position. You are no longer passive observers but have become active dialogue partners even if the dialogue is one-sided. It provides more optimal information exchange. It tells you what to watch, what to buy, what to think, what to feel, and how to behave. It carries a high degree of intimacy because this one-sided conversation also takes place in the most familiar surroundings possible, for example, in your homes. The third form of general function information is narration. In narration, the spoken word is often much more effective in advancing a plot than pictures are. The second general function is outer orientation. The form is space. It is where specific sounds can help reveal and define the location of an event, its spatial environment, and off-screen space. Characteristics are number 1. Location Certain sounds identify a specific location, provided that the audience is familiar with those environmental sounds. Second is environment. You can use various sounds to indicate the specific spatial characteristics of an environment by simply switching sounds from expansive to restricted space. Third is off-screen space. The fourth is time. Sounds are powerful indicator of clock time and the seasons. The fifth characteristic is situations. Sounds can describe a specific situation. Predictive sound meaning a signal of an upcoming situational change. Lead motive or leading motive, which is a short musical phrase or specific sound effect that signals the appearance of a person, action, or situation. This leads to the audience to expect a specific recurring phenomenon and may only be effective only if used repeatedly to signal the same event. External condition meaning it indicate whether something is big or small, smooth or rough, high or low, old or new, or fast or slow. The third general function is inner orientation. Under it, First, mood. You can create or underscore mood by a variety of non-musical sounds, usually synthesized or otherwise electronically distorted sound, or a combination of music and non-musical sounds. Second is internal condition. Sounds can express a variety of internal conditions, such as an unstable environment, often in conjunction with a contextual visual clue or a person who feels calm, excited, or agitated. Third is energy. Music and other non-literal sounds such as electronic hisses, whistles, and whines can produce or increase the aesthetic energy of a scene. Fourth is structure. 
Sound establishes or supplements the rhythmic structure or the visual vector structure of the screen event. The sound rhythm acts like a clothesline on which you can hang shots of various lengths without sacrificing rhythmic continuity. Sound is important when you relay any content or message because in real life you perceive both sound and image at the same time and thus having a more complete understanding of the message. You cannot put the world on mute. Sound is everywhere. What you can do is to make the most productive use of sound to benefit yourself and other people. Most of the time, it is not what is said that matters. It is how it is said that evokes more meaning. In the case of audio media, the informative capacity of sound is in the way it evokes a certain feeling to the hearer or the listener. Thank you. Thank you. File formats. Audio information may be stored using different file extensions or formats. Probably the most common among these are the WAV files, WAV, and MPEG Layer 3 files or MP3. Compressing and storing an audio file is done through a codec which determines the size of the audio. While there are formats that mainly contain the audio itself, some other formats also provide header information and other relevant notes about the audio file. Here is the list of the audio file format that you may use to store your sound files. The first general file format is open file formats with 9 file types that is supported by most software. Number 1 is WAV or Waveform Audio File. This is the standard audio file format used mainly in Windows. Second is MP3 or Media Player 3. This is the most popular format for downloading and storing music. By eliminating portions of the audio file that are essentially inaudible, MP3 files are compressed to roughly one-tenth size while maintaining good audio quality. It is recommended for music storage, but not that good for voice storage. Number 3 is OGG. This is the free, open-source container format supporting a variety of codecs. The most popular of which is the audio codec VORBIS. Number 4 is GSM or Global System for Mobile. It is designed for telephony used in Europe. A very practical format for telephone quality voice. It makes a good compromise between file size and quality. It is recommended for voice recording. Number 5 is DCT or Database Container File. It is a variable codec format designed for dictation. It has dictation header information and can be encrypted or often required by medical confidentiality laws. Number 6 is FLAC or Free Lossless Audio Codec. A lossless compression codec is like a zip file for audio. If you compress a PCM file to FLAC and then restore it again, it will be a perfect copy of the original. The cost of this losslessness is that the compression ratio is not good. It is recommended for arch archiving PCM files where quality is important, for example, broadcast or music use. Number 7 is AU. It is the standard audio file format used by Sun, Unix, and Java. Number 8 is AIFF Audio. It is the standard audio file format used by Apple. It is like WAV file for the Mac. Ninth is VOX. Most commonly uses the Dialogic ADPCM or Adaptive Differential Pulse Code Modulation Codec. Similar to WAV files except 
that the Vox files contains no information about the file itself, so the codec simple rate and number of channel must first be specified in order to play a Vox file. It is a very old file type and is pretty poor. It is not recommended for anything except for supporting legacy systems. Lastly, we have RAW or RAW. It can contain audio in any codec but is usually used with PCM audio data. Rarely used except for technical tests. It is owned by Microsoft, designed with digital rights management DRM abilities for copy protection. Another general file format that we have is proprietary formats with three file types. Number one, AAC or Advanced Audio Coding. Format is based on the MPEG-4 audio standard owned by Dolby. A copy-protected version of this format has been developed by Apple for use in music downloaded from their iTunes Music Store. Number 2. RA or Real Audio Designed for streaming audio over the internet Allows files to be stored in a self-contained fashion on a computer with all of the audio data contained inside the file itself. Number 3 MSV or Memory Stick Voice It is a Sony proprietary format for memory stick compressed voice files. The other formats of audio media file type is ATRAC or .oma, .omg, and .atp. It is the newer style Sony proprietary format designed for mini disc use. Always has a .oma, .omg, or .atp file extension. It is similar to MP3 and probably only useful if you are reading files from mini disks or writing for mini disks. Most of these files are rights managed, so you cannot open them in any software programs. Hey Fairy, I got my new iPhone! Hey! Are you listening to me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, you can hear me, but you're not listening to me. What do you mean? Are there differences between the two? Yes, they have. Hearing and listening are mistakenly interchanged by some of you, but these are actually two distinct acts that refer to the reception of sound produced. Hearing is the act of perceiving sound by the ear. If you are not hearing impaired, hearing simply happens. Listening, on the other hand, is something you consciously choose to do because it requires concentration so that our brain processes meaning from the sound that you receive. If you aim to become an effective listener, you should understand that you are also equally responsible in the exchange process. Listening entails receiving and sharing information, taking notes of warnings and threats, learning with other people and experiences the pleasure brought about by different sounds. I may not realize it at first, but listening is the most frequent used communication skill because you spend about half of your day listening during communication. Audio media has its advantages and disadvantages. So let's go first with its advantages. Audio media is relatively inexpensive, accessible, and easy to use. With a wide array of choices for storing audio files, you are no longer limited to analog formats of sound storage. There is no necessity of literally writing every bit of information that you want to share since you can record sound and transmit it digitally. Sound can also augment visuals in ways that can enhance your appreciation of information. And its disadvantages are Some of the limitations of handling audio media would be the necessity to be familiar with various software and audio technology. There may also occasions when audio-only format restricts the content that can be conveyed. Abstract concepts 
are usually challenging to convey using only audio media.